What's up, YouTube? Start time from 8 Bit Co op, and I want to thank you for joining me here today. It is the 22nd of March, and I decided I'm going to do a actual legitimate update for our channel because you guys need to know what's going on. So let's get started. I am waiting for Mamas to give me a call. She's on her way to work. She always calls me in the morning before she gets to work, or when she gets to work, so I know she got there safely. But, okay, so you've heard the expression when it rains, it pours. We got monsoon done. All right. First, we're going to talk about my wife's computer. I'm going to show you this real quick, though. All right. Let's see if I can do this without messing up the uh, camera too much. And I know I've shown it before, but just a quick brief. This is this is Thor. Okay. And you can see Thor right there. And this is my wife's case. You see how tall, big that is. Okay, that's my wife's computer. So I, I'm showing you that because I want you, I apologize for all the crazy angles in the camera. Look, she's in her crate. That's Maple right there. She's in her crate. That's our new baby girl. Look at it. I don't know why she's in there. She's pouting, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, she doesn't like when I do videos. Anyways, so I wanted to show you Thor. That's Thor. My wife's computer is Thor. My computer is Titan. It's the one in the white case. Okay? We're going to talk about Thor right now. So took my wife's computer in right um, because we decided to upgrade to a we got over a terabyte of SSD now in both computers okay now they installed the, uh, we got two 480 gig SSD drives they installed them in our computers well one of our uh, SSD drives in there the guy was like um, you got like I don't know if it was 800 it's like you got 800 gigs not being used at all I'm like really it's like yeah it's partitioned I had no idea and I was wondering why I'm like I know we got you know we, we had over I mean I think we had if not a terabyte very very close to SSD in there previously before we got the um, new cards uh, the new uh, solid state drives um, but we always were running out of room, so found out 800 gigs of it was like partitioned for God knows what. I'm not a big computer person, so I didn't know. I wouldn't know to check, but he's like, yeah, so we were wasting, you know, it was 800 gigs of just wasted SSD space. I mean, SSD drive. that You, you don't want to waste space if you have an SSD drive because those drives are obviously the bomb diggity. All right, so we got that in there, right? Um, we upgraded her... RAM. She now has 64 gigs of RAM in her computer. Uh, I'll tell you about where the RAM came from in a minute. Okay, so they hooked it up at the store at Best Buy. Showed us, turned it on, ran everything, ran beautifully. I'm like, yeah, it was running fast, like, pew, 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 pew. Uh, it's her rig is quick, lightning fast, right? So get it, get home, and um, okay. First, also, I'm testing a new mic. Uh, I think we're going to go with this mic, but we need to get a, gra a sound card, an actual real sound card, because right now we're using the onboard sound card, and you can't really adjust it. That's why all our video quality sound has been poor, so our next big upgrade is going to be a uh, sound card. So I apologize if the video is kind of throaty and full of bass in my baritone voice. And anyways, so that's what's going on with that. So we get my wife's computer home. We get Thor home. Hook it up. Doesn't come on. I'm like, okay, WTF, what's going on? Okay, so we fiddle around, do a bunch more stuff. Come to find out, this shit the bed on us. From the drive, from Best Buy to the house, somehow her, our $700 980 Ti took a crap on us. So right now we have the uh, the 970 in. We do got another 980 Ti on order for her, but yeah, that hurt. That hurt getting home, and it just wouldn't come on. And we did everything. We troubleshooted. We reset the BIOS. Did everything we possibly could. It wasn't working. Put the old graphics card in there. Everything worked just fine. Went through like five different HDMI cables we had in the house. You know, we, we legitimately, legitimately tried 
everything that everybody oh troubleshoot do this do that reset the BIOS the the CMOS do all that we did all that to no avail turns out graphics card you know shit the bed all right now when we walk in Best 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 Buy we brought both computers in okay let me tell you about let me tell you about Titan all right my South Bridge fried on my computer what happened was the heat sink because it was liquid cooled it started leaking so it wasn't cooling properly and the fan above which wasn't cooling the computer and the south bridge got really hot well the fan above the south bridge the bearing went out because um, I know it has like some kind of lubrication in there but if it gets too hot it like I guess evaporate or whatever well the computer was getting too hot because the cooling system wasn't working properly so the fan that kept that cool over the south bridge wasn't spinning so the South Bridge burned out. So, took it in a Best Buy. They're like, okay, you need a new motherboard. I was like, all right, fine. Went on on, ordered a new gaming motherboard. If you don't know about gaming motherboards, gaming motherboards are expensive. The one we got was 200 something bucks, and that was a cheaper one. I mean, their one's up to four or $500. So we got a, yeah, it's 200 plus dollars. Um, Asus something or other I can't remember anyway it's pretty neat looking so got the card took it to Best Buy you know they went they installed the motherboard call us back They're like yeah we have a problem like your chipset's wrong you need a new CPU new RAM new liquid cooler or I can send the mother motherboard back and get another another board. Well, they didn't have the. Uh, we have the Acer Rock Extreme, Acer Rock 79, Extreme 11. They didn't have that anymore, so we couldn't get that one. So instead of sending the old motherboard back or the brand new motherboard back, we basically rebuilt my computer. We got a new CPU. Um, just to put things in perspective, this past weekend of the what from the 15th till today. We spent a grand total of it was six hundred sixty six for that, and then we did get the warranty on this, so we didn't have to pay. We don't have to pay for the. We're just doing the waiting for the claim. We don't have to pay eight hundred more dollars for this damn thing, but roughly six. Let's just say eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars on our computer stuff in the past week, just to get our computers fixed. You know, especially mine. So, our computer went, you know, the computers were down. I lost so much footage, it's not even funny. Because I didn't, when it went down, I had a bunch of stuff um, in Adobe that I was working on, and I had a bunch of stuff in my uh, FF output from my format factory that I was just waiting. I'm, and I was just waiting, and I had gotten lazy, and it's my fault, my fault. I gotten lazy and I hadn't transferred over to the Seagate because we got a three terabyte Seagate that we store everything on once we get it done so that we can upload it to YouTube. I didn't do that. For whatever reason, I neglected to do that and I'm paying for it. I lost Black Desert Online footage. I lost the Division footage. I lost a couple of unboxing videos. I lost. Uh, I was, I, you know, I played another game. I threw another game in there. I had two episodes. I cannot remember off the top of my, because it's not on my wife's computer. It was a Steam game. I can't remember what it was off the top of my head. But that's gone. I lost maybe a week and a half worth of videos. And during this time of year, especially when my wife, when she left out of town and did all that stuff, I do the lion's share of recording and editing and doing the video stuff because I'm at home. So we kind of like. Our space and our videos have been coming slowly because we're trying to recuperate. There was a while, a couple of days, we already had the two laptops in the house. We had my Alienware and we had the Asus, which aren't set up for recording or anything like that. So no videos were being produced. And we didn't have that backlog because I dropped the ball. So I do apologize for that. Uh, the lack of content is my fault. But it, it was unfortunate. Didn't expect the computers to go down. But it's it happens like that. Now I will tell you, going to Best Buy 
First of all, the guy that helped us, his name was Dwight. We had to write a letter to Best Buy about this guy because we called him on the phone. And we were talking about the computers and having to bring stuff in. He was like, well, unless you bring it in in the next 10 minutes, you know, I'm not going to be here. This man stayed on the phone with us for almost an hour and a half. We kept him almost an hour and a half after the time he was supposed to get off. He stayed on the phone to help us to make sure that we got the proper stuff we needed for that computer. We were trying to be courteous to him and get him off the phone so he could go. And every time, it, like, he was checking our um, the new RAM because the RAM we got, the problem with the new motherboard was it's DDR4 RAM. And all the RAM we have now is DDR3. So, wrong chips. It, it, it depends on work. So, you got to get the right RAM. So, he was like, yeah, this RAM will work. We're like, okay, cool. We're going to go ahead and place the order. He was like, hold on. Let me check something. And, he, and I'm like, you know, okay, you know, if it works, you know, you ain't got to check, you know. You got things to do. We're holding you. You got things to do after work. You know, go ahead and be done with it. No, that wasn't. He's a cool. Every time we go in, any problems we've ever had with any of our computers, he's always been like the main guy to fix our stuff. Never had a problem with it. Best Buy doesn't replace motherboards. They stopped doing that. However, Dwight was like, yeah, you, we're like quadruple platinum nine years in a row. That means nine years in a row we spend at least $10,000 at Best Buy throughout the year. Look it up. Not hyperbole, not hyperbole. I'm not bullshitting. Not talking shit trying to amp us up like we're ballers. That is legitimate. Every year, at least 10 grand for the past nine years at Best Buy. So, I mean, we go in there. This is I'm not joking about this either. We go in there during Christmas, like shopping time. I can't remember her name. But she's one of the people that are there, like, um, during the holiday, they have a lot of, like, specialists come in the store, like, uh, specialist vendors or whatever. And this lady, she's there. She's been there for the past three years. Every time we come in, she walks around with us. She gets, she carries our stuff for us when we go shopping. I'm not even joking. Like, they come in, we go in, and like, hey, and, like, the people there know us by name. They know, you know, they some of them have subscribed to our YouTube channel. They, they, they know us. So, Dwight stayed... And helped us, and which I'm glad he did because we had to go back and reorder the um, CPU, or not reorder, uh, check the CPU twice because we were going to get the first time we were going to get the wrong thing. We had to check the RAM four or five times. He wanted to get the proper cooling system that was going to work, and you know, so he made sure that when we got done, when we hit that order on Newegg and Amazon, that when we get our stuff tomorrow. It's going to be the proper stuff that we needed to get my computer up and running. So, that's awesome. So, we had to write a letter to Best Buy about this guy. Like, every time, I mean, it was, my wife did it all professional. It's like, you know, you, you, he's like, you guys got gaming computers. It's like, you guys got gaming computers. We actually brought the uh, receipt in and showed them exactly how much we spent on these computers, you know. Just base before before the Nvidia before the extra RAM or before the 980 for the extra RAM, I spent twenty six hundred dollars on my on mine and my wife's was twenty seven hundred. That's just for the computers and then we with all the extra stuff. With all the extra grand, we spent a grand total of maybe eleven thousand dollars on these computers. Not even exaggerating with the what we had three. One, three, nine eighties, the nine seventy. Uh, we got four total of solid state drives since we've gotten the computers. Um, we got the Seagate, which I do complete consider part of the computer, but that was actually the Seagate was relatively cheap. The Seagate we got it. Uh, the three carat, one hundred and seventy, I think. So that was actually cheap. That was actually a good deal. We got that on sale. Um, what else did we get? Anything? Um, the RAM, the the old RAM, uh, the RAM that's in my wife's computer is my old RAM from my um from Titan. So that's in Thor now. That's why she's got sixty four. Um, my new one's gonna have thirty two. But her computer, oh my God, it's so fast. But that's that's what's going on with her computer. Um, what else did we get? 
with well, the 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 um, webcams and the mics and the headsets and everything. Yeah, about eleven thousand dollars total on the computers. It, what we've had them for two years, so we spent money on these computers. And he was like, "You guys are legit gamers. You know, you're, you we've crossed over into the enthusiast where." He's like, the next upgrade you guys can really get is like, for mine, he's like, you should just get another 980. And what we were planning on doing was taking this 980 out, putting in mine, re SLI in mine, and getting her a Titan. Because he's like, really, graphics are the sound card, and getting upgrading to the Titans would be the next step. He's like, you get upgrade one to a Titan and put, you know, SLI the other one. And I figure we'll put the Titan in my wife. And her her layout is a little different inside her case, and I like how how it fits rather than putting the two because okay in my in mine and hers if we put another if we try to SLI her computer it's gonna cover up the fan the same fan that gave me a problem that's over the south bridge the hard drive or the uh, graphics card is gonna cover that and I don't want that covered so that's why hers is gonna get the uh, Titan and my new computer the way it is is. The south, the south bridge fan is like way over down here, next to one of the in, the input, input fans or in pool fans, the fan that sucks air in, and I can put two 980s in there and not block any of the fans. So we're gonna go with that, but the um, that's a lot of the 980s in that again. But we got, oh, we we also got new mouses. We got upgraded to Razer Nagas. We got controllers. So. <clears throat> You know, he's like, you guys aren't just computer gamers. You, are, you guys are like, you're gamers, but you're enthusiasts now. You you, you have upgradable computers. You know, I'm going to make sure that when you get your stuff for your computer, you're going to get the right shit, and you're going to be happy with what you get. So, you know, I have to give you know a, sh a shout out to this guy, because he did a fantastic job. He always does. And everybody's always talking about Best Buy and Geek Squad, not knowing what they're talking about. I've never had a problem with Best Buy or Geek Squad. Alienware. Alienware shit bed many times. Dell, them bastards can kiss the entirety of my black ass. They screwed me up so many times. Sent the Alienware in. They sent it right back with the same jacked up graphics card. Didn't fix it. They did not fix the problem. Didn't. They got it. And I'm like, that turnaround was really quick. Somehow, I don't know what happened, they got their computer, took it from receiving, and took, put it right back in the sending. Didn't do anything to it. Didn't do anything to it. Sent it right back to me. I got it. And I'm like, yeah, you sent the computer back. It's been two days. It's still busted. It's not coming on still. It still smells like the, when the, um, the graphics card fried. I'm like, you can still smell the, the odor of the burnt graphics card in the damn thing. Yeah, and everybody's like, oh, they got good, no, they don't. Alienware, horrible, I'll never get another Alienware product. But, oh, apologize, it's an alarm going off for kids. Anyways, they're on spring break, so, eh. But, Best Buy, them guys are fantastic. I appreciate everything they did. And, so that's what's going on with the computer. Going into Best Buy, though, with these computers, Got it. Yeah, I'll get a little braggadocious because we walked in, and I'm. I it was like I had a little midget hype man. That every time I took a step with the beer, he was like, "Bow, bow, bow," because everybody was just looking at us like, you know, they was eye raping my rig. They were like, mm. I, "I'm on my on, on on the Titan. I have a um, glass case, and you could look in and see the inner mechanisms of the machine." And they was like looking at like, mm, "I love to take that cover off and get all up in that BIOS." Like, hey, I don't need to, you know, lightweight. You know, lay off my machine. You know, because you know you're eyeballing it really hard. But I will say, I did feel like you know a baller status because we brought him in there, and he was like, nobody brings computers like this in. It's like they use matter of fact because they were training on my motherboard. My old motherboard was crap. They used it as a training tool to train guys how to take motherboards out because I think they're gonna start trying to do more stuff like that. But they used my computer as a training tool, which I was fine with. But they were like, hey so many people in there looking at it and are we walking in like yeah you know yeah I'm here to check on the on Titan or I'm here to check on Thor like, oh that's yours like man that's a nice rig I wish I had something like that blah 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 and you know it, it felt you know it felt kind of good everybody and I if people if 
people don't get that sense of pride and that sense of like, yeah, you know, I know. I, they're lying to you if they say they don't get that. Because you, you do. Even the most... I, I'm, I'm not a stuck-up person. I'm not, you know... Even the most humble person feels a sense of pride when people, you know, acknowledge, you know, something that you have that's really nice. Like, our truck. Brand new. 2015. Fully loaded. Suburban uh, LTZ. Everybody was like, man... That's nice, you know, how much you paid for that, oh my god, we could never afford that, and it felt good, you know, not just, we didn't get it just so we can, you know, we got it because we had an avalanche, and we, we travel a lot, and when we travel, I don't like to fly, I like to drive, and when we drive, that's when Sergeant James comes out, because I plan for contingencies, okay, if we get stranded, we bring our packs, we bring our survival gear, plus our regular clothes, plus weapons we bring I mean we bring everything in case something happens I'm just you know I'm, I'm a cycle that way so you know we bought that because we and we use it we uh, you know had that thing loaded down with stuff in it so it's not a pavement princess because we do use it they, we were gonna get originally the guy was trying to get us to get an Escalade which I didn't want because that is a pavement princess and the Escalades they're really really pretty really really nice and I would you know I, if I scratch the Suburban up, I'm like, damn, I got, you know, I scratch Suburban. If I scratch an Escalade, I'm going to cry because it's, you know, Escalades are the luxury vehicles of, of the SUVs. And then you got, you know, the Suburban is the work version in my eyes. So we got the work version of the vehicle because that's what we use for. You know, we got it for my wife. You know, it's safe because she does a lot of driving. And I want her in a safe vehicle, something big, you know something reliable and we were like we're gonna get something brand new not new to us brand spanking new like we're gonna be the first asses in the seat well the guy that drove it from um it was in uh mississippi i think we had to get it dri driven to us we could have had him put on a truck and it was, but it would have took like a week to get it and he was like yeah we can get it here tomorrow if you want to got to drive it we're like hell yeah drive it yeah, drive our vehicle here we don't care as long as it you know yeah it was only a couple hundred miles but Technically, I mean, he was the first ass in it, but we were the first owners. We were the only owners of the vehicle. So, but yeah, walking into Best Buy with that and having everybody come up, and we're standing in line. And, you know, and I, you know, the guy brought in the Titan, or he brought in Thor, I brought in Titan, and we sat down there, and I'm sitting there, my wife and my, my, my son and my daughter, they went looking around, and I'm sitting there, and um, everybody's coming up to me like, man, they're all looking at it like, you know, Whose computer is this? I'm, I'm like, it's, it's it's my computer. That's why I'm standing here. I mean, you know, yeah. And I'm like, oh man, and, yo, your computer's boogers, yo. That that joint is hot boogers. That's that's nice. I'm like, yeah, they are pretty garlic, aren't they? Yeah, you know, I, a little. Okay, I got a little braggadocious, a little bit, a little bit. Like, yeah, that is pretty. That's beast mode, right? That's garlic, right? You know, I, pew pew. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I didn't do that. I didn't pew pew. You know, what I'm saying? You, you, two big, big old black dudes in the store going pew pew. You get your ass kicked for that. I'd have got the ah, Somebody would have kicked the shit out of me. Hey, you be going pew pew it to me, uh, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so the guy, you know, you know, well, the guy that was next to us, he's a big, ga he's a gamer, and he was talking about, oh, I was like, man, man, to raid on that computer. Oh, speaking of, we got my wife a can't remember the name of it. It is a mechanical keyboard, brand spanking new, just recently come out, like a couple of weeks ago. Brand new. I, I like mine. I, this is this is her keyboard now, but mine is the same thing, and I won't get rid of it because I I finally got this worn down to where my hands won't stick, and I like the keyboard. I just like how it feels, and she so. But she she wanted a new keyboard. Her keyboard has a phone dock, um, LED. It's got like a whole another side right here of little buttons like little doo -doo -doo, you could like program for different stuff it's got a row on top and it's got the phone station where you could charge your phone just bloop. and you know and it's gonna be great for when she's recording videos because she can just put a phone right there and be like bleh, 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 and, you know and it's got buttons on the side here it's got all kind of lights and then it's got like the backlight and, and the thing is like I don't know. It, I, I when we get it, which is probably gonna get here today or tomorrow, you guys will see it. It's it's a pretty amazing keyboard. 
I was like, mm, I'm lightweight jealous right now. I, I ain't gonna lie. It is, you know, I wouldn't get one just because I don't, you know, <clears throat> I was jealous because it was new, new and neat and cool looking. But I, I, I don't think I'd get one because I, I finally got this keyboard, that, well, that keyboard, to where it's comfortable. I, I made my buttons here, my uh, my Wazda stick, so when I press them, it kind of clicks. And when I first did it, I'm like, hell yeah, that's gonna be awesome. And once I got it finally like that, I don't like it. I'm like, ugh, I don't like the click because I I made it so that the key sticks, so you have to press it down. So it's like click, click, click. So those keys click, and I thought I'd like it because I was watching somebody else play. Uh, uh, another YouTuber was talking about they had their computer that did that, so I did mine the same way, and I don't like it. I thought I would like it, I don't like it. So. But that's the only thing I don't like about it. But everything else is the keys are all kind of worn down a little bit, and this, the, especially this, this is the main thing. Like my hand doesn't stick to it because it's not new. When it was new, it was like really, really sticky, and I'm like I meticulous about cleaning my keyboard. I hate getting crap on my keyboard. I don't like the keys being like sticky, like digging your nose or eating, you know, barbecue buffalo wings and getting, you know. So I got the keys for their night or that this piece right here to where it's nice and worn down and my hand just like hers it kind of sticky it's still eh, I don't like that but she doesn't play she's all like professional when she does her stuff anyways so that's what's going on with that so I just wanted to give you an actual legitimate real update and let you guys know that we haven't stopped doing YouTube we haven't stopped you know making videos it's just the it, this has been going on this has been going on we had my wife leave and go out of town and then we had the first drop of a batch recording. We had a batch recording where um, we had a transfer error. I was in the middle of transferring stuff to the Seagate and it was storming and the power went out and it corrupted all that stuff. So we lost that and I did do a video on that. But we had videos backed up. Oh, we had some backup videos and we put those out. That's why you'll see some of the division videos where I'll start it like I started at the beginning and in the next video I'm like level four and in one I'm like level nine. That's why I'm, you know that's why is because that's why there's an inconsistency in the videos because some of them got deleted so I had just you know and other and instead of starting a new character over I just you know made some and just kinda eh. but that's what's going on with our channel we're still doing videos we got another box up there I don't see see that red in the corner that's a uh, oh, excuse me that's one of the geek fields we should be getting battle box in this month's Siri box my son's brick box um Anime bits, anime, manga, loot crate thing. I think we should be in another smuggler box too soon. So we got about four or five boxes to do. So we're still doing YouTube and everything. But, you know, I thank you guys for sticking around. You know, we, we didn't lose any, subscri any subscribers during this rough period. You know, where, you know, and that's just what happens in YouTube. You're going to have times where you have failures where it's not, nothing you can do is going to stop the inevitable. You know, systems are going to go down. Hardware is gonna fail. It is what it is, and you just do the best with what you got, and you may do what you can, and then you just recover. So this has been a costly expenditure for us, but you know <clears throat> we should get my computer back in. Today is Tuesday. The, the stuff should be coming in today, either all today or today and tomorrow, <clears throat> and take it up to Best Buy. Should have my computer back by Friday. And then we're gonna smash out some division videos. Um, oh no, I think we're gonna smash out some Black Desert Online videos because we dropped pretty much all a uh, majority of the video. Actually, all the Black Desert videos we had were, were just deleted. They're they're gone. So we've had like three Black Desert videos put up. That's it. So I think we're gonna get smash some Black Desert Online videos. I may do some ESO videos to show the new uh, content, but other than that. That's where we stand, but I do appreciate you guys for sticking around. We do, uh, for sticking around. You know, a lot of people when they their YouTubers stop producing content, they're like, oh, they and they unsubscribe. You know, and we're, we're glad we're we're sticking with what we uh, have. I think me and my wife are gonna. I'm gonna propose a competition to my wife. There's a game call, coming out called uh, Roller Coaster Planet or Coaster Planet. And I think I'm going to do a competition with my wife, but I'll explain that more in a later video. My name is Third Battalion from AB Co-op. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble for the past 30 minutes. I appreciate it. appreciate you guys sticking around, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.